Hi everybody. We're back because I got mail. There's a surprise. Um, just pouring myself a glass of water. Not really. Because I know what's in this mail. Give me a couple paintbrushes. What? Let's dig in. This has, this package has like a lot of tape and my dress is on here and blah, blah, blah. So, maybe you can tell by the green shirt what day it is. It's Groundhog's Day. Uh, I'm kidding. This box was munch. Hoping the contents are okay. Looks fine. This went into the mail. Like, I have a feeling that this was, like, waiting already in a box for them to just, like, put a thing in. The handwritten thank you note. For what? What could I possibly have ordered? Stickers! I got a sticker. It's North Carolina. I forgot it was maybe Kentucky or Tennessee, but they're based in North Carolina, so I'm gonna take the guess. Plus it has a coastline, and those, those other states are not. Oh. Oh, another sticker. Mm, mm, shiny. Oh. Mm -hmm. You can't see it. The sun is not sparkling on it for you, but it is for me. I put it in the sun. Oh. Hello. Hello. I got a pin. Oh my gosh, everyone's so surprised. This one's handmade, and um, I just mostly made the top line up with the bottom, so that pleases me, um, by these people in uh, North Carolina, so hopefully this is great. I have a feeling it will be. I wonder what color ink I will put in here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what's in the other box that you have there, Maria? There's this thing, it's a monthly subscription service called Ink Flight. And they send you ink samples. And I'm a sucker. So the first thing we get is foil wrap, which everybody asks me if I'm gonna do that and I never do actually, I save it. Oh, look at that. And it comes with all these things, a pen sleeve, like the ones I just ordered from that company, in fact, because it's the same company. Does my new pen fit in here? Yeah. That's nice, too. I like it. So they call this the Inktopus, because it's an octopus, but ink. Anyway. Uh, and then uh, a bunch of stickers. So these are all, uh, oh, yes, I'm excited. These are mostly rickshaw bag work stickers, and it includes the one that I, it includes ones that I got sent, but it includes the one I didn't get sent, which I love, which is the lucky cat. Yay, very excited about that. I don't know, know what I do with stickers, like I don't really do anything. Oh, and it comes with a discount code, which I suppose would have been nice if I used it before I ordered, but I didn't. And then, um, I saw somebody unbox this, so this is not a surprise. So. There are these uh, cards that have, hey look, you can see the camera, um, a quill and an ink um, pot. And then, woo, woo, and it has paper that tells me about things, but we're not looking at the paper. We're gonna be surprised. Even though we saw a thing, I don't remember what was in there. I remember that sticker though. Um, so, ooh, hoo, hoo. we got inks. We got inks from Van Demon, and this looks like their underwater series because we have sea turtle, blue ringed octopus, 
Parrotfish, Ghost Ship, Sea Urchin, Bioluminescence, and Royal Starfish. Now, I actually own this ink, so maybe we'll do a giveaway. I'm not doing a giveaway. I mean, I'll give it to somebody. I'm not doing a giveaway. You know what I mean, right? So what did I do? I got my little sample rings. I'll pull out six of these cards. Two, three, four, five. You know what though? I don't have time to do this properly. And I want to luxuriate in it. So I think what we might do instead is just put it in this little book I have over here. What do you think of that idea? I think you're okay with it because you're not here to say otherwise. I got this little, this is also like super awesome paper. And I just decided to use it for like random things that I might do with ink. So like when I was trying to water down something and when I had these two inks that seemed like very similar or when I thought I had nib issues. Let's just make this the, let's not do the first page. Why didn't I do something on the first page? Oh, look it. Maybe I pushed too hard. <coughs> oh, bless me. Okay. Look. We're on my sewing table, so let's hope we don't spill because I don't want this on my fabric. Let's pause and like make you look down at the paper. Okay, you're looking at the paper now. I can't really see because it's front facing, but like it's gonna be fine. Okay, so. Let us thoroughly dry our little brushes on this washcloth that I obviously use for clothes. Let's look at sea turtle. Ooh, that was loud. Whatever. Okay. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, and I like how you can see the things that I wrote. It tells me things about sea turtles on here. Let's see what it says about sea turtle. This cool verdant green has a high degree of gorgeous red sheen. All right. Then next we have blue ringed octopus. When threatened, the venomous blue ringed octopus displays bright blue rings on its body. Oh, cool. So do you think the rings came first or do you think it heard its name and was like, you know what, that's a good idea? Hmm. Interesting question. This really wanted to stay in the brush, this color. Then it wanted us to see Royal Starfish. I'm not showing you that, it's purple, it's beautiful. Uh, and then Ghost Ship. This is described as a highly saturated dark indigo with a rusty sheen. Oh God, I just dropped some on my table. Whoo, beautiful. I put down too much ink. Swish, swish. Can you hear that? I bet you can. That's ghost, that's ghost ship. I don't know what's so spectral about that. I'm gonna see this little ink here. Let's see. Okay, then we have sea urchin. Appears black in most applications with a heavy green sheen. I'm 
we're going to go like this. Just for that one. Maybe we'll also do it for this one. There's a lot of water, Maria. Get a thirsty brush. Clean it up. This isn't watercolor paper. It's going to crinkle and be amazing. Okay. So that was sea urchin. And then we have parrotfish, which is a turquoise and lilac shimmer. So shimmer inks mean shake it up. This looks like it's going to be really pretty. I'm shaking, shaking. Okay, we're going to switch this around. Dry it off. Switch it around. Beautiful. Love that color. I'm like feeling really energetic right now and I think it's because actually because I need to eat. Like my body's like, look, look, we're going, we're going, we have food. And then the last ink we're going to look at right now is Bioluminescence. This is dark blue with a striking red sheen and twinkling shimmer. So I'm shaking it up. Can you hear my stomach rumbling? You're like, well, I can now. <laughs> cool. Very excited. This is neat looking. You can see where it's drying already, the green on it. And here, I can see some of the um, lilac shimmer. I'm seeing the red sheen, but I don't see the twinkling shimmer in this one yet. This was meant to have a, um, this didn't say anything about sheen, but I feel like I'm getting some pink along here. And this one that has a high degree of gorgeous red sheen, I'm going to say I actually don't have a high degree of sheen yet, but this is a really great color. This reminds me of the color I just got, um, Spirit by Colorverse. The bug just landed on there. And then here, um, has a rusty sheen? I think so. I think I see that. So... A plus plus plus. Really excited. I'm really looking forward to like making proper little swatch cards with these and like writing the names all pretty and then figuring out what ink I'm going to put in here. I mean, honestly, it's a pretty good match for this uh, ghost ship. Or for blue ringed octopus. And actually really excellent for parrot fish. But I don't think I'm going to put a sparkly ink in here as its first ink. That feels like a middle finger. Um, it's funny because like I have a lot of blue inks, but I'm like, but I have other inks and I want to use the other ones. Oh, I have one that I've been meaning to use called Nightshade. And I think I might put that in here. Can you see, kind of see? Let's go over here in the sun. Now you can see it. Yeah. Feeling stoked. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Whenever you're seeing this. Take care.